It's got top billing. The biggest game in the world, says Sir Alex Ferguson. It certainly is tonight. And the winners will top the group and have one foot in the Champions League quarterfinals. Okay, just looking at the way Juve are playing with Nedved supporting the strikers. If United can continually get the ball wide, particularly to Beckham, I just wonder whether it will make Marcelo Lippi get Nedved out on the flank to try and contain both Beckham and uh, Neville. Lippi has had uh, a dose of the flu himself, but not a negative word in his uh, press conference yesterday. He was so impressive. No free kick. Ball has been given. Montero getting a taste of his own medicine. Beckham towards Brown. It's in. West Brown's first goal for Manchester United comes after just three minutes. It's as if the winter break has never happened. They're winning again in the Champions League. All the talk about Beckham before the match does ever so well here. You know, takes the corner, I think, before Montero can get back into his central position. The ball's in well. Would Buffon have let that one in? Almost the first touch of the ball for the standing goalkeeper, and it wasn't impressive, was it? Oh, it's awful goalkeeping. Space for Pavel Nedved, and he did have a lot of space there. And he'll have a crack as a result. Dare not allow that too well, close for comfort. We've seen that so many times, haven't we, over what the last eight years? Pavel Nedved, 30 yards from goal, he can unleash them. I must admit, when he, when he set up on this, I thought this is going goalwards. Time, space, and his right foot. Only a coat of paint away from equalising. Something of a let off there for United. Camoranesi. Tipped in towards Zalieta. They've got there ahead of Neville. I don't think Gary Neville thought he was going to reach that, you know. I think Gary Neville was, thought that was going over. One two with Kim Milton Nilsson. Look at now. Trezeguet has got a chance. Well. It was a hint of fortune there in the way that it was set up. And Trezeguet didn't make the most of his fortune. That's a letter. That's a letter. You would have expected to. If he'd have taken it one more stride out of his feet, the defenders couldn't have tackled him. They would have had to give penalties away. Camoranesi with the free kick. Nedved. Clever free kick. Bad finish for a player like him. Clever free kick. The runners all take United defenders back towards goal. Nedved deliberately cut out. If you like, almost sort of. If you like an extension of the Teddy Sheringham corner. Mm. Steed into David Trezeguet, headed on towards Pavel Nedved. It just lost his balance under pressure from Sylvester Challenge. But there's that thing I was talking about earlier, the way he pulls on his shoulders. Now he's lost his balance. Fortunately, the header just didn't fall right for Nedved. There was contact from Sylvester, but that wasn't the reason that Nedved went down. Oh, well, here's a chance for Van Nisselrooy. Oh, he's brought down. Scholes will finish it off, will he? Now he's hit the post, and the referee has not given a penalty. Well, one assumes that Kim Milton Nielsen played an advantage because Kimenti certainly caught Van Nisselrooy. Scholes you know, didn't take advantage, but you would have thought the referee would have pulled it back. I'll tell you what he's done there, the referee. No question. He's played advantage, and you may say rightly so, because he didn't want to have to make the decision. He would have had to send the goalkeeper off. And I think he thought that Scholes was going to get him off the hook. It was a dreadful error by Montero here. It was sick. Not only that, there was a hesitancy from the keeper. I still think the keeper could have got there before Van Nistelrooy. Pesotto into the path of Tacchinardi! Oh, he got over it and struck it well. Now, Antonio Kimenti completely exposed by this error. See, he's dwelt, he's dwelt, he's dwelt, he's on his back foot and the, he's going to score, should be a penalty. The referee thinks, stick it in, Scholes, and that saves me the problem. He's going off, isn't he? He's going off. I mean, it's a deliberate attempt, actually. Kicks to O'Shea. Montero couldn't get it away. Van Nistelrooy! Well, he has been scoring goals for fun in this competition. Ball emanates again with the with the young left fullback O'Shea. A little bit fortunate there, but we see the keeper scrambling again. Nedved. 
Three others in support. It's in towards Zalieta. And that wasn't too far away either. Big six feet. Uruguayan rose the highest onto Nedved's cross. Well, Nedved's happier now when he's got that loose roll. That's a beautiful cross. And I must admit, when uh, Zalieta got on the end of it, I thought he tucked it away. Looks as if he's going to nestle that one in the corner of the net. Oh, he's a target. Red shirts, but he, he is a target. Going. <laughs> Beckham's got it back. That's a crafty ball into Van Nistelrooy! <laughs> Victory for Manchester United via the most familiar goal scorer, Ruud Van Nistelrooy. He'll need another shirt, but Manchester United have another three Champions League points. He's deserved that for a position. I just wonder if Davids hadn't have had that ball, if there'd have been quite the desire to win it back. Precision ball in. In that area where the keeper doesn't like, the area of uncertainty, and he sees only the ball, just gets the toe-ender into it. But that was all about, it was all about, A, the endeavour to win the ball back from Davids, and the precision ball from Beckham. Where the big Buffoning goal coming out again might just have done something more, but uh, I don't think you would have done on that occasion. Still Juventus look for a goal. Here's Ruben Oliveira. He's turned Roy Keane as have been pulled down. No, it's the referee. Encourages the young Uruguayan to get to his feet. Well, it's a linking of arms, yeah. shall we say? <laughs> oh, and that's in! Fired by Nedved. I don't know if Ferdinand got a deflection at the near post. Pavel Nedved, cross shot. Found a way into the corner of the goal, unaided or otherwise. Certainly a dangerous zip, and it's a double touch. I think Ferdinand got the last touch. I'm not so sure Beckham didn't get a touch on it as well, but certainly Ferdinand's got the last touch. Beckham. And this to right. Yeah, see it through from there. Nothing wild and wonderful now. Keep it in the corner. Keep it in the corner. That'll do. It. Manchester United win, but with nothing to spare. Ruud van Nistelrooy's goal, provided by David Beckham, two assists from him on the night, proves critical in the end. Manchester United have a five-point lead over Juventus at the top of Group D to take with them to Turin next week. But there was very little to choose between the two teams tonight. A little puff of the cheeks of relief from Sir Alec Ferguson at the end of a pretty torrid week at Old Trafford. There are smiles all round and complete harmony and focus is with us thanks to this scoreline. Manchester United 2, Juventus 1.